The birth of a baby is one of the most anticipated events in a family's life. In the nine months leading up to birth, the primal cells that make up the human body differentiate to become the tissues, blood, and organs of a human being. As a stem cell divides, each new cell can remain a stem cell. Unspecialized stem cells can become tissues, blood, muscle, or nerve cells. Stem cells have the ability to replenish other cells in the body, grow tissues and organs, or lead to therapies to treat a wide variety of serious medical conditions. So when we talk about the youngest possible stem cell, that's the embryonic stem cell, which can give rise to every cell and tissue in your body. The next one that we have available to us is the uh, cord blood stem cell from the newborn. And so that stem cell is only nine months old. After that, then, as, as we get older, we have bone marrow stem cells, and we may have organ-specific stem cells like liver stem cells or muscle stem cells. Stem cells, often called master cells, come from three different sources. Adult stem cells have been used for 40 years to treat blood cell cancers through transplant medicine. However, adult stem cells are less proliferative than younger cells. Successful treatments require autologous or donor cells with antigen matches that are highly compatible. Harvesting bone marrow requires an invasive collection procedure. Embryonic stem cells are the most plastic or versatile source of stem cells yet researchers have not determined how to control their development. The derivation of embryonic stem cells is controversial and heavily restricted. Cord blood stem cells, once considered a waste byproduct of birth, have a high rate of self-renewal and demonstrate the capacity to form bone, muscle, nerve cells, and blood vessel material. Cord blood stem cells are readily available and easy to collect and can be used in the same way as bone marrow to treat serious blood and immune disorders. Over the past 10 years, we've realized you could take stem cells and use them to treat patients in the area of regenerative medicine, which would be the greatest use of stem cells. However, you must use your own stem cells. So you must have a source available of, of good young stem cells for patients as they get older to, to treat the many ills and ailments um, that everyone expects to, to, to endure. Mm -hmm.